Okay, here we are in the ground uh, flight control configuration version 4.12 for a X380 and I have the regular transmitter and receiver hooked up right now just to get a look at the inputs. Uh, USB is going about to get connected here. Okay, there we go. You can get a look at the various channels. Everything is on through the ground control software. Heading lock when it's on. CF is green and that is at 100% on channel 5. When it is off, it is down to negative 100 on channel 5. Return to home. Off, it's negative 100. When it's on, it is at 0. Then we have the takeoff button. 100 when it is uh, held for two seconds. Well, when you push it, it goes to 100, but you have to hold it for two seconds for it to fire. It goes all the way back down to negative 100 when it is not in use. Now, return to home again was at zero, and if you try to, uh, or you switch it to return to home, it goes to zero, middle point from negative 100. And if we push the auto land, auto takeoff, it still goes to 100, but it won't fire if return to home is in play. And we can see the other inputs, aileron and how they move. I'm just moving it left to right, back and forth. Throttle, 98 at max, zero at minimum, 48 around the middle. And there, there is uh, fine points here. You can get to 56, 59, just barely above center, all the way up to 98, all the way back down to zero, let go, back to 48. And that, now the FAP, channel 7, goes to negative 20. That's where it should go to, negative 20 from negative 100. So it goes up 80 points, so to speak. And if we rotate through channel 8, either at 100, 0, or negative 100. And that is that. And we can come over here and take a look at the actual throttle with the old transmitter. I'll put the sticks down. There they belong. Alright, there, that's it. 50%. A little bit above 50 right there. Maybe a centimeter above 50%. Three quarters. Back to a centimeter. Back to half. Or less than half. Back to middle. All the way up. Down pretty low. Right around 50. There's a centimeter above 50. Three quarters. Maximum. And down pretty low. Down lower. Three quarters down, or a quarter throttle. Back to middle, a little bit above, three quarters, full. Three quarters, three quarters, maximum. Okay, so what I'm doing here now is just checking the amperage for the motors at the various throttle positions with the X9D to see how it compares to stock. I have an amp meter, amp meter hooked up and uh, we're ready to test it. So I'm going to fire on the motors and take it back to center. Okay, motors are at center. Let's see, it's about 1.1 1 .1 amp. It's right around one amp. 
Watch the uh, transmitter over here on the right. We're going to go up. Two point eight, two point eight nine, have it all the way up. It is basically the same until you come back to center. Well, it holds that at two point seven seven. Let's go all the way back up again. There you are at two point nine again. Back to center, two point seven. A little bit under half. Or a quarter, rather. Around a quarter. Now we're back to the one. Let's just get back to level flight here. One, four, five, and crank it back up again. 2.8. Stock transmitter at halfway on the throttle. So now I'm going to go three quarters. I'm just holding it right at three quarters. This is about 2.7. Go all the way up. All the way up is only 2.4. Back to center. Go all the way up again. Holding at 2.3. Alright, now let's come down from that. Right, you can see it's about 1.5 at the quarter mark. If we repeat this test with the stock, you'll find that it gets up to about 2.73 on a full thrust upward on the, on the uh, throttle here. I'm going to do it once more. I think it just depends on how you start off. All right, now I'm just going to crank it. As you can see, we're right around 2.7, 2.71. Leave up on it. Go back to full. So going back, it doesn't make much sense. That might be the by design. Going back up, it doesn't go any higher. It stays right at 2.3. Right where it's at now. The range on this one was limited to about 98%, so that might be why we're getting 2.7 here and not 2.8. But I just want to make sure the range of motion on the, on the X9D is the same. And that's important, otherwise we'll have a catastrophe. Okay, here we are. Uh, X9D, halfway. And I'm going to crank it. Well, that time it only maxed out at 2.4. Depending on how you angle that there. Alright, go back to center. Back to center is only showing 2.3.3 three, three still. No change. And back it off. Back to center. Crank it up. 2.3.5 again. Kill it. Kill it and start it back up. Crank it again. That time we hit 27. Alright, interesting. Back to center. 244, we're gonna start it back up. It does not go back up, which I think was the same on the stock. Kind of held its ground. Okay, here's a look at the um, Tyrannus after I've reconfigured everything. FAP on FAP. channel 7 goes to minus 20 just like with the stock transmitter now. Throw the SA switch to the middle back to minus 100. All the way up, still around a minus 100. And that is working. Heading lock. Heading lock forward on SB and we are at 100 Heading lock off. off and all the way up stays the same Heading lock off. turn to home Return to home. right where it should be at zero back off on the SF and then we have the auto take off on the SH switch Flight mode land. full and now it's back off of course, channel 8 is there, working fine. And all of our inputs 
Now the aileron and some of these other ones had a little bit of different left to right ranges. They were off by like five points on one side versus the other. It probably needed recalibrated uh, on this stock transmitter. And you can see the same kind of thing here too. 100 to the right and minus 98 to the left. Same thing with the stock throttle. It went up to 98. This one's going to 100. And then down to zero. Other than that, everything is uh, appears to be ready for action here. <laughs>